love me Cause I don't think I love me anymore Maybe I think too much so I drink to rush all my demons out the door Tell me, tell me that it's all inside my head Call it OCD, tell me it's you, not me Cause it's driving me mad Now arriving at Li Jiang Tower. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to what is going to be an exciting match here of Overwatch between Concordia University of Nebraska and Carroll University. Very excited to bring you this game tonight as we are officially whitelisted by the NECC, so we are extremely excited to have that honor. This will be one of our first games as NECC whitelisted, so hello to anybody who is watching and with the NECC today. We have two really good, powerful teams here tonight getting ready to play. Over here on the blue side, we have Carroll University, Pez, Little Duck, KTM, 6060, Klein Saucer, Space Cake, and Bioflex. 
or bio bio wolf bio wolf x bio wolf x hmm i'm just gonna call him bio over on the other side we've got logan the fry tywood echoes bleach reactions got jams and skelly wolfie for your concordia university tide and they will be first to enter this control point here at Li Zhang. As we get started, Pez is going to move forward, trying to make some space for his team. That's going to be caught, though, as Concordia keeps them back, at least for now. The point unlocks in another two seconds. Klein Saucer off here on the side. As Concordia does get the capture first, this is going to be moving forward now. Is the team for Carol. That's going to be a really big ultimate coming out onto Pez, and Pez is going to find two. It's going to be an ultimate also out of Logan the Fry, and that will actually end up being a one fight for Concordia University as they push Carol back and off the point. Very well done there as we saw the Nano come out quite early from the Carol team, but Concordia was able to weather the storm and pick up the uh, kills on the backside. And now push forward. We'll see Concordia holding the point here, and it'll be Carol who has to decide which direction they're going to go. It looks like they're going to try and take this frontal assault. We'll watch from Pez's perspective just for a second. As he holds that corner, gets stunned by popping out immediately. But Klein Saucer finds reactions early, which means that's going to be a first pick onto them. It's going to be a try there by Tywood, but he isn't able to find anything. Klein Saucer will find him as well. KTM will demech, got jams, and Echoes Bleach will take out Pez. Still a somewhat even fight as right now Carol is on the point fully in contention, but that's reactions and Logan the Fry on the backside picking up two kills as they get back to the point and Skelly Wolfie Finds one on the way out in Klein Saucer. So Concordia not able, or sorry, not only able to just weather the fight, but then take it all the way back and keep Carol deep on their own side. We will watch Logan the Fry. The team captain for Concordia University as they are trying to hold on. That is going to be the beat dropped by the Lucio. And a couple more ultimates coming through. Beat dropped on the opposing side for Nebraska as well. High Noon coming through. And that'll be Klein Saucer able to find one. Pez falls off. Little Duck does find reactions. So it's going to be two for one so far. Klein Saucer finds Skilly Wolfie in the middle of this fight. And KTM is going to use his ultimate and fight and got jam. So that will be Carol taking the point as they finish off Tywood and Echo's Bleach. 99% is the capture point in favor of Concordia and a lot of ultimates used by Carol to try and take it back there. So very well done by Carol. As Concordia also doesn't have a lot of resources to their name either. So Logan the Fry and Tywood, uh, well I guess Tywood and Reactions are both pretty close to their ultimates. So there is an opportunity. Concordia does move immediately onto the point and they put up that wall right in a good spot. Concordia is going to try and fight around the wall as well as the shield here. Reactions does get taken out though. Uh, Space Cake able to get taken out by Echo's Bleach. And Logan finds Biowolf as Klein Saucer finds Skelly. Can he find anything more? Little Duck gets taken out. KTM here also getting found. And that'll be Klein Saucer as well, which means that Concordia Nebraska takes the point. And over time, no touch from Carol, meaning that Concordia University is able to win the first map here tonight. Zero to one, it will be Concordia University, Nebraska taking the lead. But a very well done fight by both teams, especially on that first part of the capture point. It nearly went the direction of Carol. But luckily, Concordia was able to stay away from Pez, even though he had, you know, Space Cake had done a really good job, got the ultimate onto him. Five, four, but he just was able to two, not get into one, Concordia Nebraska's nine, face. Two, so the Reinhardt, unable to find any opening takeouts, means that Concordia able to get there. Both teams use teleporters and get right on to the point as we get into the action. Klein Saucer 
taken, uh, takes out Logan the Fry. As Got Jams is gonna try and get in here. Reactions does find Klein Saucer in return, so it's only a one-for-one -one trade on the DPS. Concordia, Nebraska now trying to take the space here. They have to be very careful, of course, of the Symmetra turrets, which they are able to take out to get things started. Point is still contested. Got Jams is gonna get demeched. But that's gonna be Little Duck taking out Logan the Fry, but the rest of the Carol team will fall. As Concordia able to take out the Carol team, I believe it was a four, a five for uh, two exchange. Thank you. Very well done there as they now control the point first. Carol to move around. They're looking to look around this left side of the map, or go over the bridge, I should say. Logan the Fry finds Space Cake very early, which is a huge pickoff. One of the healers, Klein Saucer, trying to find Logan the Fry, does so with a really nice roll and flashbang. That'll be a one-for-one -one trade so far. Healer for DPS, and the healer's going to be back sooner. On the Concordia side, we'll see the ultimate coming through, but that's also a really big ult from Pez. Klein Saucer does find Echo's Bleach. Pez trying to do this rampage and find anything, but he's not able to really clear anybody off the point with it. Little Duck does find Tywood, though, which is a big pickup, as this is going to be Got Jams' ultimate being used. Little Duck finds Logan the Fry, and KTM finds Reaction. High Noon is going to find possibly one. He does find Skelly Woofy with that, as KTM picks up Got Jams, and that means that the objective will flip sides 69 to 70% in favor now of Concordia University, but... Anything can happen here as Carol now has control of the point. Concordia going to move around on the inside of the buildings here on the right, their right side. They'll move forward looking for some sort of an early pick. They're going to use this small corridor to their advantage, throwing up a really nice ultimate there from Logan the Fry, giving them something to play around to move forward onto the point. Pez, very, very low on the backside, as that's gonna be another ult coming through. KTM throws up his wall this time. Pez finds reactions. First pick going over to the side of Carol. Ultimate coming through onto Pez, and he's gonna be able to find maybe one. He'll find two for sure here in the corner as he's got Logan the Fry. He's looking for Skelly Wolf. He finds her. Gonna try and get the D-Mech on and isn't able to, but Klein Saucer able to find Tywood. Little Duck able to get Got Jams cleaning her up on the back side. So two ultimates used there on the side of Carol in Space Cake and Pez. They still have two in Little Duck and Bioflex. Echo's Bleach, the only one to have his up right now, but Got Jams should have hers before they get onto the point. So, Concordia University once again pushing through on this right side. Ooh, but they're actually going to flank through onto the left all of a sudden. Pez able to find Logan the Fry, though, early. That's a really big pickup. Little Duck does find Got Jams and Reactions. KTM to find Skelly Wolfie and Bioflex. To finish off Got Jams, Ty Wood taken out there at the last second. Echoes Bleach has to get around and try to touch. Oh, but he gets taken out at the very end. So... Not to be taken two to one, two nothing. Carol will bring it back to one to one, and we go to the deciding point. Ready for battle. Both teams have shown shown some pretty good cohesiveness. It just has come down to maybe a couple ultimates being comboed. I'd say on the first point, Carol didn't do a great job, as uh, Concordia did not necessarily either. Um, in managing their ult economy. When it came down to it, Concordia just had the better ult economy in that final fight on the first uh, part of this map. Whereas in the second part here, Carol did a much better job, had the two or three ultimates that they were able to use and not use all of them at the same time. So they had a much better opportunity to contest. Both Carol and 
Concordia moving on to the point here is it is going to be a hectic fight back and forth. Getting low is Little Duck, but Got Jam's also getting low on the opposing side. Logan the Fry might be caught out here. He does find his way back into safety as Carol will be the first to take the point. Klein Saucer finds reactions, and that means Concordia is going to have to be pushed back. Reactions and Echo there on the front side. Logan the Fry finds Pez. Little Duck in the back, though, trying to find Skelly Woofy. So that's one tank down. Ultimate going to be coming out possibly here soon. There it is. Going to be coming out from Space Cake as Echo's Bleach is going to move forward. Klein Saucer does find Logan the Fry, so that's going to be another pick for Carol. Pez trying to get into this back line. Skelly Woofy uses her ultimate as well in this fight. That's going to be a uh, ultimate out of Tywood. Pez able to find his ult, but he does get taken out before he's able to find anything more. Very well done by Tywood getting down there at the last second to contest and save his healers in the back. Klein Saucer there up top finds one, finds two now on the Concordia side, and Bioflex taken out. Logan the Fry does find KTM, but Logan the Fry all by himself. Echoes Bleach also all by himself. Will he escape? No, he will not. Now, here on the backside, Concordia needs to try and get on the point. They have one more opportunity to do so. Only have Got Jam's ultimate. They will now have Reaction's ult as well. On the opposing side, Carol will have at least one ultimate. And not able to find anything. But Little Duck able to return and gets two for his ultimate. Got Jams does find Klein Saucer, or Klein Sauce. It is Saucer. I, I don't know why I've been saying that wrong the whole time. Pez is going to get the D-Mech onto Got Jams. Logan the Fry switches over to be on the DPS roll. As Concordia now trying to move through, but they're just not able to get any closer to being on the point and that means that carol is going to win this two to one very closely played and well done by both teams especially there on the last point play of, play of the game does go to the logan the fry for this well done play here on the first point that concordia was able to win and this is actually the winning push for them and well done here in the first round. We will go to round two. And our second map here in just a few minutes.
All right, everybody, welcome back as we are getting ready for round two, or map two, excuse me, of this game between Concordia University, Nebraska and Carroll University. We are here on Hollywood getting ready for our first hybrid map. And I say first hybrid map because I'm expecting this game to go not to uh, just three games in this best of five, but definitely to go a little bit further because these two teams are quite closely contested and things I think are going to be a lot of fun coming forward. So, once again, we have Pez, Little Duck, KTM, Klein Saucer, and Space Cakes, along with Bio... BioWolf X. Unless it's just BioWolf... It's not Flex. It's just BioWolf X. That's what it is. For the side of Carol. On the side of Concordia, Nebraska, it'll be the same lineup as well. Logan, The Fry, Tywood, Echoes, Bleach, Reactions, Gut Jams, and Skelly Woofy. Sitting there as our resident Mercy main. We'll watch from her POV for a bit because we do have a Pharah Mercy coming out from the Concordia team. So they're going to be trying to look to get down some damage on the opposing side. KTM is running. The Echo. Klein Saucer is going to be running the Soldier, which it looks like he just switched to to try and combat this pharmacy that is going on from Concordia. So trying to take high ground is Carol. Reactions is able to find Space Cake though in the back. As Tywood still on high ground. Now we'll give it up to Little Duck. But Little Duck not really able to do much more up there. Reactions finds Biowolf. As Concordia able to hold the front lines here and even find another kill. They find a pick off onto Pez. As right now, the picks they've been able to get have kept not necessarily kept the offensive from happening from Carol, but definitely keeps Carol trying to think, all right, well, we can't full push on this one. It's really going to come down to ultimates here, honestly. Logan the Fry just about has his. Echoes Bleach also about there. Also with reactions on the opposing side. Little Duck does have his ultimate along with Space Cake getting really close should have it this next fight that will probably be the big ultimate to turn this around for them coming through now there's the ultimate onto Pez as he is able to find two in the back line and three four five six as Carol able to get a full team kill using a single ultimate, which is absolutely insanity. Not to mention Concordia had all of theirs up still. Stop the payload. And so now we see Concordia trying to defend here in the streets. Or the uh, city, village, whichever part of this map you want to call it. Now, the thing is Concordia has spawned very closely here because they were all killed at around the same time. So they're able to get to high ground nearly immediately. We'll have KTM and Pez trying to come up on high ground as well. Reactions trying to do what he can, but Pez is able to find two. He finds Reactions and got jams. So now he goes to clean up the rest of the Concordia team. As he is moving through here, getting pushed back is Tywood, and Tywood goes down to Klein Saucer and his Helix Rockets. On the backside is Space Cake, literally just... Carrying this payload through as far as possible. They're going to try to look to hold Concordia here at this contested point. On the side, Logan the Fry looking to find some action there. He's able to come around the corner, and that's KTM. Able to find reactions immediately as he poked out too far. We'll hop on with Pez here as he gets ulted again. And Carol's going to be completely uncontested all the way through the first checkpoint of the payload. Not to mention Pez able to find himself another two kills. Klein Saucer, well, he finds one kill and Klein Saucer finds himself a 3k. 
with BioWolf able to find reactions for another team kill. Concordia has yet to have a couple of their guys use their ultimates. Look at the fry still holding on to his, along with reactions and Echo's Bleach from that first round. I think Skelly Wolfie had to have used hers at some point here. Logan's the fry does find a monkey hiding up here, waiting for him. Got you in my sights. He will finally use his ultimate, but man, that is going to be immediately countered by the other, by the Carol team, who's able to get Bioflex's ultimate off. Pez able to move in and find Echo's Bleach, as Concordia just not able to get much going. Reactions does find one with his ultimate, and Skelly Wolfie does res Echo's Bleach, so there's going to be some healing on the side of Concordia, but that's four against three. And they're not even able to touch the payload for the most part. Klein Saucer able to get on there, and Logan the Fry not able to touch in time. So, Concordia University having a real tough time there. Just got off the back foot, had a good defense on the first point, and then all of a sudden just sort of fell apart as they weren't able to continue the hold. And after that, they just really didn't have any decent ult economy because they just didn't have a good opportunity to use their ultimates and then regain them. So not able to do anything with their ults and moving, uh, getting moved completely through on this first payload push was Concordia. So still an opportunity. Concordia can still push uh, faster than Carol for the most part. But they are going to have to be quite forward in how they deal with their ults. They can't just hold on to them infinitely and hope for the right moment because Carol is pushing forward. They are not going to let up and they're not supposed to, you know, let up at all. If they have their foot on the gas, they go forward and that's exactly what you have to do in this game. So now we'll see what Concordia can do on the attacker's side. They have a little bit of time that they can make up here if they're able to take the payload point first. We'll hop into Got Jam's perspective here. Just briefly to see how things go. Carol on the other side, as you can see, has already dropped down to the low ground. They are opting to hold that further back high ground with KTM and Space Cake back there. Logan the Fry is going to be here on this side then, since we're not necessarily threatening the near high ground, but he's going to have to be careful when peeking anything else. He's got to be really careful here. Logan the Fry gets dangerously low. Pez up here on the back side. But Logan the Fry does find KTM, which means that's an early pick for Concordia. They're going to move forward. Space Cake does get the res onto KTM, so that's going to bring this back to a 6v6 as Klein Saucer finds Tywood. That front tank line, Got Jams is gonna find herself in a bit of a jam here off to the side. As she's trying to fight for her life, she will be able to try and get back to her team. Oh, and unfortunate there. She wasn't able to get the shield up, gets taken out by Klein Saucers, Helix Rockets, and that's gonna be Logan, Echo, and everybody else from Concordia minding their end as well. Tywood able to dodge at least the couple of rocks there from Pez and Carol able to hold on to the defense point. Concordia still with good time. Plenty of opportunities left. No ultimates used there by either team, I believe. Skelly Wolfie and Echo's Bleach have theirs up. Pez, Little Duck, Space Cake, and Bio Wolf. That's four ultimates up on that side. They've got a lot of options when it, coming, when it comes to defend. Once again, they'll allow Concordia to push through here, but they're going to hold that back high ground like it is nobody's business. Ultimate coming through from Skelly Wolfie to get things started off. That's going to be the uh, window dropped as long as as well as Molten Core. Two ultimates coming out. KTM also dropping his ultimate now that I can see that on the kill feed. So Concordia op or sorry, Carol opts to drop three ultimates. 
Now Concordia will drop another one, but man, Got Jams is already taken out. I don't know what they're gonna do. Pez might be in a little bit of a sticky situation, but he is able to find himself out of it. As this extended fight is still continuing. Right now, Concordia trying to find an opportunity. This is gonna be a rip tire coming through from Logan. He does only find one with it, as Pez does find Echo's Bleach. KTM is able to kill Logan the Fry. Space Cake will just get the res on the Biowolf, bringing it back to a 6v4 here on this front line. Advantage to Carol. Concordia's gonna have to find an opportunity now to push forward. And Carol holding a very strong defense here. Opting to just let Concordia kind of come through the first choke point. I'll give you just a bit of a perspective. This is what uh, what KTM's kind of playing with. He's able to poke at Concordia through this small window over here. We'll actually just go to his POV for a minute. Show you kind of where he's looking. This forces Concordia to go around the backside, but ultimately he's got a lot of options. He's getting picked off here from the high ground. He just moves back and underneath. They'll come through now, and Klein Saucer does find Got Jam, so that's a tank down for Concordia. Skelly Wolfie has her ultimate again, and is using that, but that's going to be an ultimate in return from Space Flex. And that would be an ult from Tywood, but he gets taken out, and Concordia not able to touch the payload at all, as Carol will win the second map. So what was a 2-1 to one take on the first map, and very close. Honestly, here on defense for Concordia was not, uh, on defense for Carol was not necessarily close at all. As Concordia had a tough time defending, and an even tougher time trying to get on the attacking side. So we will go to map 3. And see if Concordia is able to do any better and bring this to a map four, or if they will fall in just three maps. We'll be right back.
I remember when the bartender said it's on the house You make me wanna fall in love The weather felt better when we were in it together If I wanted to stop, I would have let it go But I get it, it's alright Cause I can't keep my shit together Safe, okay, yeah, can't debate that Don't want my shit to get better Cause it made me forget it all and I hate that Last summer In my head like a melody Laying back in this bed Playing back what you said And it's not really helping me Coming down from this high Is a dangerous ride I'm coasting Out of body floating Lost in my emotions I've been spinning slowly Trying to keep my head above water And you go and pull me under Crazy thing I know I'm done for Stuck in this state of wonder All right, we are back here at Junkertown for map three between Carroll University and Concordia, Nebraska. Welcome back, everybody, as we are getting ready to get things sent off on this map three, hoping for a Concordia victory to send us to map four. We get to see a little bit more Overwatch action this evening, but this is Carol's opportunity to try to finish it right here and right now. Matchups will not change for this map. We'll have on the Carol side Pez, Little Duck, KTM, Klein, Space Cake, and BioWolfX. 
And on the Concordia side, we have Logan LaFry, Tywood, Echoes Bleach, Reactions, Got Jams, and Skelly Woofy. So, both teams now getting prepared for Junker Town. Logan LaFry is going to be setting up his turret up on top of that shack over yonder, and Concordia themselves will just be setting up on the payload, or on this top point as much as possible. So here we go. Space Cake able to initially take out Logan's turret. As they'll just try and break through the shield wall that Concordia has set up here. Successfully able to do that for now. Logan the Fry does find KTM as KTM was going that Sniper Widowmaker in the background. Appears that uh, KTM is going to switch off of that rather quickly onto a Junkrat, something that can do a little bit more against this double shield comp that Concordia is running. Pez moving forward here with the rest of the team, trying to find some damage, trying to stay in some decent line of sights. He doesn't get Echo's Bleach with that. Almost had him. Klein Saucer, though, does find Logan the, uh, Logan the Fry. Also going to find Skelly Wolf on that left side as Concordia is literally pushed all the way back. Unable to do anything. They give up this first point all the way through. Concordia trying to find somewhere to defend. It just seems that they were pushed back once and never stopped moving backwards on that first point. Chance now for Concordia to try and hold something here. Logan the Fry does find another kill on Decline Saucer. Little Duck does take out Logan the Fry's turret. Welcome, Matt. Does get poured out by Logan the Fry. He's able to find KTM. Reactions finds Pez. Reactions also finds Little Duck. So Concordia, with one ultimate used there, able to push off the Carol team to get things started. So, opportunity now for Concordia to try to hold. They will take high ground advantage as Carol now is going to move across that just to drop down here in front Echo's Bleach does find Little Duck actually to get a nice first initial pick Pez down low here on the low ground and Concordia still holding high ground best that they can Logan the Fry finds Space Cake Gonna send Carol into a bit of a question. They gotta wait now for a tank and a healer to show back up. They'll simply sit back and wait for those respawns. They have three minutes and 40 seconds to play with, so much time that they can just kind of hang out and whittle down the shields from Concordia here. Pez does get ulted there or uh, gets the uh, nano from Space Cake. He doesn't have his own ultimate up yet. Reactions does find KTM, though, as they are pushing the payload around. And they'll just simply stop here and get contested at this corner. Biowolf X is able to use his ultimate, gets back into the back line, tries to find Echo's Bleach, but he is actually just going to go down. And on the front side, we do see Reactions uses his ultimate and gets two kills, three kills for himself. Will he find an exit one here with Klein? And he does not find, there he will. He'll find it there at the very end. Very cheekily dodging that flashbang from Klein Saucer. So Concordia gets a very good defense there. Um, ultimates used was just Reactions and Skelly Wolf. On the other side as well, Space uh, Cake used his. Now he has switched over to a new character. Pez is down below and all by himself. If the Concordia team only knew that. KTM going to use his ultimate. We'll see where exactly it's coming. It's right there. Doesn't find anybody as Tywood does find Pez. Meanwhile, Klein Saucer up on the back line. He'll get taken out, but not before he finds Skelly Woofy. Little Duck going to use her ultimate, as well as Got Jams in return, going to use hers. So we'll see a clean, clean fight now from Concordia coming through. 
As reactions, Logan the Fry and Ty would all find kills. Got Jam's ultimate has been used. Ultimate's on the side of Carol. It was, I believe, Pez followed by KTM and maybe even, uh, maybe Little Duck used theirs. I am not sure. Now, here we are, Concordia still holding this high ground, doing a very good job of it. Carol has yet to push them down. We'll get the monkey, though, as that's a really good option when you're trying to get some space for yourself. Molten Core gonna go down, and Logan the Fry finds KTM with it. Skelly Woofy in a little bit of trouble here on the backside. She goes down, and that high noon isn't gonna find anything from Klein Saucer. He also goes down very early. Tywood able to find him, and BioWolf X. Reactions finds Pez. 60 seconds remaining. Logan the Fry trying to put some effort onto this diva. Little Duck literally <laughs> two bars of health left. As Concordia has held a very iron-fisted hold on this high ground. So now, ultimates for Concordia are Reactions and Echo's Bleach. Big ultimates for the fight coming up. The only ultimate on the side of Carol is Space Cake, which he has a good opportunity to use here. This is a very tight window, perhaps a good opportunity. As Pez goes into the back, Ryan Klein Saucer able to find Logan the Fry's turret. We'll see what else happens. Reaction's gonna get ulted and use his. KTM able to find Logan the Fry, but Lo Reaction's able to find two. As Concordia seems to be winning this, two to one right now, they do find Echo's Ek uh, Bleach finds Pez, but Pez finds Skelly Wolfie in return. Ultimate coming through from Echo's Bleach as they find two through that. The overtime will run out here. Oh no, it's gonna be a touch there at the last second. Reactions though takes out Klein Saucer, and that's gonna be Echo's Bleach finding KTM. Pez is here as well. The Molten Core though from Logan the Fry is going to guarantee that this one goes over to Concordia. They're able to win round one and do so with Carol only taking one point and a distance of 59.92 meters. All Concordia has to do now is simply push the payload further than what Carol did. They have to just get it up past that point right there, which is honestly quite doable. Carol had a lot of time built up, especially just the way they move through this first point. So Carol has an opportunity to really stump Concordia here on the first point push. If they're able to hold Concordia for, you know, even a minute or two, Ready. they'll buy themselves a lot more time, and if they're able to hold that same high ground position that Concordia did, it just keep them stuck. There is still a very good opportunity for Carol to finish this off Attack in two maps. In On the side of Concordia, though, very well done defense, and they have an opportunity right here, right now, to send this to a fourth map, which I know they would absolutely love to do and give themselves a better opportunity here in this matchup. So, as we get ready to get things started, Concordia, Nebraska, they come out with about the same look. Logan the Fry will be sitting on the Hanzo. KTM sitting back there on the Ash. As those snipers are going to be in a battle, and that's going to be one that Logan the Fry ends up winning. Barrier goes down, and Tywood having to catch some bullets here. KTM's going to be on their way back, and Little Duck does find a rich, uh, kill on the other side onto Reactions. It's going to come down now to who gets an ultimate first. KTM comes on the side there as that Ash. Throwing in a little bit of poke and Klein. Saucer gets forward. Oh, man. Skelly Woofy with a great pickup there. As Concordia now tries to push through. Klein Saucer down on the side of Carol. Tywood able to finish off the 
Lamp there, and Logan the Fry then finds Pez. As that's two members down for Carol. Got Jam's able to find Space Pack. And that's a healer down. As Concordia now moves up around the corner. Trying to finish this off. Bioflex, though, in the able to find two. Logan the Fry and Echo's Bleach from his position across the map. As the ultimate comes out from Tywood, isn't able to find anything immediately. Concordia needs to keep pushing the payload here. Take advantage of some picks. Pez finds Got Jams. On the backside, we have reactions and Skilly Woofy. Skilly Woofy, though, is going to go down. As Carol able to push Concordia back. Pez, Little Duck, and Space Cake all have their ultimates. Skilly Woofy reactions, Logan the Fry, and Got Jams with theirs. Klein Saucer and Little Duck absolutely having a heyday here on the front line. Able to pick up several members of Concordia. Logan the Fry finds KTM, but that's going to be Klein Saucer finding Logan the Fry up high there. As that's going to be a bunch of damage pouring through that window as Pez finds Got Jams. A lot of damage indeed still coming onto the Concordia team. Twin Dragons go find their way forward, but Concordia is not able to follow it up with anything meaningful. KTM there on the side, trying to harass the Concordia team best they can. Trying to stay out of the way of ultimates there. Klein Saucer uses his ultimate. Still holding on to it. Reactions able to find KTM. Little Duck does find reactions on the backside. Klein Saucer finds Skelly Wolf. KTM able to take Got Jams out with the Bob. Tywood falls on the front line. Echoes Bleach soon to fall after Concordia with 40 seconds remaining here. Needs to get this payload push through the first checkpoint to even have an option of taking this to a fourth map. But Logan the Fry will go down on the far forward push. Concordia has one more opportunity here to do something. They have two ultimates built up. There is nothing in the side of Carol. Nothing for a while. And so the opportunity is fully in advantage for Concordia if they can push through. That's going to be them finding Little Duck. That's a good start. Space Cake's Lamp is also taken out as Concordia now slowly wants to move through. Klein is going to be on the back side as that's an uh, ult used from, uh, from Tywood. Pez is very low. They're able to finish him off. They won't be able to get it as he gets a very good gravity fist on that. Pez and Concordia moving forward. Pez is very healthy. Reactions in the back. We have Klein over here on the right side, trying to find as much damage as he can into the back line of Concordia. KTM does find Got Jams, and that's going to be a nice ultimate there coming out of Space Cake as he gets his back up. Logan the Fry able to find Biowolf X, but that's not going to be enough as Tywood is the only one here. Skelly Wolfie trying her best to heal. Logan the Fry on the payload as well, and he's going to get taken out as that will finish overtime, and Carol will win between Concordia University and Carroll University. Three maps to none, a very close first map, and honestly, a very close third map here. Concordia was able to hold, or uh, Carol was able to hold very well on the second map, and it, it wasn't much of a contest, but here Concordia tried, and they really had a great contest, especially here on the second point. Carol just not able to figure out how to crack that high ground, but then unfortunately Concordia on the attacker's side themselves, just unable to get through that open space at the end of the first choke point. So we thank you, everybody, for watching our stream tonight. Very excited that we are officially whitelisted by the NECC and able to have the ability to promote our streams coming forward. So tomorrow, we have League of Legends action coming at you. That match will be streamed both here on our CUNE channel but is also going to be streamed by the NECC. So please sure to check out the tweets on that. Not to mention, we have Concordia merch coming out very soon, and we are excited to bring more information on that shortly. But have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow.